You know, every town has something like this happen. I remember over in Russellville, old Charlie Bowles, about 15 years ago. One night, he finished dinner, and he excused himself from the table. He went out to the garage, got himself a hacksaw, and he went back into the house, kissed his wife and his two children goodbye, and then he proceeded to... Uh, where are we? Huh? Oh, oh, yeah, it's right over here. I have a feeling that you're way off on this. You have the wrong feeling. Well, you're not doing very much to prove me wrong. What more do you need? Well, it's gonna take a lot more than fancy talk to keep me up all night crawling around these bushes. I watched him for 15 years, sitting in a room, staring at a wall, not seeing the wall, looking past the wall, looking at this night inhumanly patient, waiting for some secret, silent alarm to trigger him off. Death has come to your little town, Sheriff. Now, you can either ignore it, or you can help me to stop it. I met him 15 years ago. I was told there was nothing left. No reason, no conscience, no understanding and even the most rudimentary sense of life or death, of good or evil, right or wrong. I met this six-year-old child with this blank, pale, emotionless face and the blackest eyes, the devil's eyes. I spent eight years trying to reach him and then another seven trying to keep him locked up because I realized that what was living behind that boy's eyes was purely and simply evil.